gifting orders of magnitude of speed up to random strangers or nilpotent integrators.jl. My name is Jörn Tobias and I'm going to show you by example how little domain knowledge can speed up other people's code in Julia. Differential equations allow to describe system behavior independent of specific states. Linear differential equations can describe springs, objects in free fall, average room temperature or exponential growth. Linear differential equations have a closed form solution that uses the matrix exponential. This matrix exponential is defined via power series, an infinite weighted sum of powers of the matrix A. Now let's take a break from higher math and go to something more familiar. The name of the rate of change of position is called velocity. Or, in other words, velocity is the derivative of position. And similarly, acceleration is the derivative of velocity. We can express this knowledge as a linear differential equation. If we put the resulting matrix into the matrix exponential, we observe something really interesting. After sufficient terms of the series, we observe that the powers of the matrix become zero. This means that all terms after that become irrelevant for the calculation and can be ignored. This also gives rise to the formula of a parabola. The shape of football traces an air. In Julia you can already use uh, the matrix exponential to solve linear differential equations faster. However, it uses the generic implementation of matrix exponential that comes with Julia. And if you are aware that the solution is a polynomial, evaluating the polynomial is usually faster. So what does it take in general to convince the larger ecosystem to use your fast implementation? Actually, not much. First you have to identify what to subtype. In my case, solving linear differential equations via matrix exponential was done by the diffie -Q array operator. So I looked up its supertype and created my own subtype of abstract diffie -Q operator. Many Julia packages also come with tests you can use to check that your fast implementation still behaves correctly. Anyway, it's a good idea to talk to the maintainer of the larger project you're trying to integrate in. Then I had to convince Julia that my operator behaves roughly like an array. Then I made Julia aware how to calculate the matrix exponential for my operator. So if you have an idea how to improve the Julia ecosystem, don't be afraid. Implement it and the community is quite welcoming.